in 2012 they thought the earth was going to be destroyed? The doomsday prediction of Maya calendar turned out to be false. But do you know there are realistic scenarios in which our planet earth can be destroyed? Tighten your seat belts as we go on a journey of 5 most possible doomsday scenarios. Number 1. The Carrington Event. Carrington Event is the name given to scary massive solar flare called Coronal Mass Injection or CME. It's one of the possible doomsday scenarios because it actually happened on our planet in the past, fortunately at much smaller scale. During this event Earth is bombarded with electromagnetic pulses which immobilize Earth's electromagnetic shielding. This may not sound scary but it is a very catastrophic event because the last time when it occurred in 1859, power grids went down and in few cases power cables melted, telegraph system were rendered useless, auroras started appearing around the world and they were so bright that miners woke up and started preparing for their work, because they thought sun has risen. If this happens today, our power grids will collapse again, GPS won't work, life support systems would be rendered useless, weather prediction, scientific studies, your beloved internet, basically the world's entire electrical infrastructure would collapse. Number 2. 36778920111 AG5. Interesting. What do you think it is? It's certainly not your crush's number. Well, it's something which has potential to crush all of us, literally. 2011 AG5 is a cute name scientists have given to a 140 meter wide near Earth asteroid they discovered recently. Earth falls in the projected trajectory of this huge rock, and it can hit us somewhere between the year 2040 to 2047. Since its discovery till now, chances of its hitting us have gone as low as 1 in 500 but the very fact that an asteroid discovered only recently can possess such a threat, makes you sleep bit less comfortably. It makes you wonder how many such celestial bodies we are not even aware of. But don't worry, you can take a sigh of relief and keep trying to impress your crush, as our friends at NASA have been already working on technology which can enable us to destroy such asteroids before they can come close. Our list is not over yet, keep watching. Number 3. Yellowstone Caldera. No list of catastrophes is complete without mention of one of these volcanoes. Yellowstone Caldera may sound like a cute name but it is the name given to a volcano in Yellowstone National Park. It's not your usual volcano, it's a supervolcano, what that means is that it ranks 8 on volcanic explosivity index. That sounds ok until you get to know that rank 8 is the worst a volcano can be. If the Yellowstone supervolcano erupts, it would release deposits of 240 cubic miles or 1000 cubic kilometers. To put that in perspective, it will eject enough sulfuric acid in the Earth's atmosphere to effectively cause a global nuclear winter and the ash would ruin agriculture in the Western Hemisphere and most people would die. Maybe some of us will still survive but those who survive will have to re-establish the entire human civilization. Here's the fun fact, this scary supervolcano has erupted thrice in past 2.1 million years at regular interval of 600,000 years. The last time it happened was 640,000 years ago. And we are still not done yet, here is our number 4. Number 4. Rising Antibiotic Resistance. Perhaps the scariest of all these doomsday scenarios is the rising antibiotic resistance. It is something we can not always be certain about and can likely happen. Don't believe us? After September 21st convocation the previous year, UN declared antibiotic resistance as the greatest and most urgent global risk, more so than climate change apparently. This is how it works, you get sick, you take antibiotic and it kills the bad bacteria but some of those bacteria, over period of time may develop resistance to that particular antibiotic, and thus only the ones without the mutation to resist the antibiotic die, and thus the ones with the mutation can now easily multiply, and suddenly you start facing a large scale medical threat because your antibiotic no longer works. Depending on how severe the epidemic is, you have very short time to develop an antibiotic which works before the time runs out. 
pretty serious and scary, isn't it? But hey, we are not done yet, here is one more possible way we can lose our planet. Number 5. Ocean Acidification. When you think about oceans what comes in your head? Whales. Shark. Fancy looking creatures. And Nemo. What else? That's all, right? Well, for a long time we have taken our oceans for granted. If you go ask someone, where does the air we breathe come from? They will answer, trees. But did you know more than half of Earth's oxygen is produced by oceans alone? When was the last time you gave our ocean the due credit? After the industrialization, our carbon emission has been going up continuously. A lot of this CO2 gets dissolved in our oceans at natural rate but our greed has accelerated the process to a point where oceans have been knocked off their balance and they are getting acidic. This is resulting in loss of life under the water. More than 90% of life forms exist in our oceans and they are facing a risk which we don't even talk about. Forget global warming which we are still debating. Ocean acidification can destroy the life as we know it and yet there is little discussion about it in our media and popular culture. How about sharing this video, that's easiest thing you can do to spread the awareness.